together. Blessed are those who hear the word of God and observe it. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. While Jesus was speaking, a woman from the crowd called out and said to him, Blessed is the womb that carried you and the breast at which you nursed. He replied, Rather, blessed are those who hear the word of God and observe it. My dear friends, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Good afternoon, everyone. Good afternoon, Father. Yesterday, October 11, me and six of my batchmates celebrated our 16th anniversary as a priest, our sacerdotal anniversary. Please pray for us, your priest. No. 16 years ago, we were ordained by Cardinal Gaudencio Rosales. And normally, kapag may ordination, the ordinandi would always choose for a date with a feast of a saint. So, some would choose St. Francis, St. Therese, Archangels, but we were informed that our ordination will be on October 11. And then we ask, ano ang feast ng October 11? Parang wala namang feast. And so we ask, why October 11? Simply because that is the only date that the Cardinal is available. So, hindi na kami nag-complain. Baka hindi pa ituloy ang ordination. Anyway, so I tried to research Wala na ba talagang feast ang October 11? Then later on, I realized that it was also the feast of Our Lady of La Leche, the milking mother, Mary. I don't know if you have seen that. There is this great devotion also with Our Lady of La Leche, Mary nursing her child, Jesus. And I think isa po sa mga the best thing the best experience of every mother, kahit mahirap, is to nurse her child. Kasi time will come, di mo na magagawa yun. Yung ikaw yung hinahabol ng iyong anak. Paglipas ng panahon, ikaw na ang humahabol sa iyong anak. Huh? When they were young, they will always run to come to you. No? Lagi na lang sasama sa iyo. Pero pag binata na, ikaw na makikiusap na samahan kanya. Dahil ayaw na niya. No? Sabi nga, you are so blessed. Pero we, we are not, you are not also only blessed to have a child. In our gospel, St. Luke is reminding not only the mothers, but every parent to pray not only to have a successful child, a successful son, daughter. Do not just pray for your children to become famous, to become powerful someday, to become intelligent, to become successful. Every parent should always pray to have an obedient child. Yan ang ipagdasal ninyo na maging masunurin ang inyong mga anak. As St. Luke said, Rather, blessed are those who hear the word of God and observe it. You pray for your children, not only to obey you, but to have a prayerful son, a prayerful daughter. Always bring your children closer to Jesus, closer to God. I always tell this, every time na magkakasal ako, ito ang aking laging paalala sa kanila. 
kapag pinalaki ninyong may kilalang Diyos at may takot sa Diyos ang magiging mga anak ninyo, wala na kayong dapat ikatakot, tumanda o mawalaman kayo. Bring your children to God. And how can you be assured of ha- to have an, an, an obedient children or children? Teach them to read the Bible. The Word of God is the foundation. The Word of God is the key. And remember that every time that Mary would appear, she would always remind us to listen to her son Jesus. Listen to the Word of God. And when I say listen, obey the Word of God. So every time that we celebrate the Eucharist, you should not only prepare yourself to listen, you should also prepare yourself to what the Word of God can do for you. The Word of God, as I have read in one of the reflections, the Word of God can not only pinch you, but the Word of God can also punch you if necessary. For you to change, for you to be saved. So, after the Mass, you prepare yourself. Prepare yourself for what the Word of God can do for you. The Word of God can finally teach you to forgive again. The Word of God can finally teach you to help again, to trust again, and to love again. As I end this reflection, in one of my masses in Baclaran Church, I think three weeks ago, now my mass was at 3.45, but normally it starts at 4 p.m. because we begin with the novena first and then the mass. I think the priest before me, medyo ginanahan, so he finished late. So I was so worried because I still have my mass in my parish sa Assumption, sa Malate. Although it is near Baklaran to Malate. But the time, I started 4.15. So I will take a, a taxi pa going to my parish. So I was in a hurry. After the Mass, the security guard assisted me to have my taxi. Then finally, they got a taxi. Pagsakay na pagsakay ko, the taxi driver said, Oh, I am blessed. Pari ang aking sakay. So, okay, then I sit down, and I said, Kuya, in assumption, and he asked me, So, Father, did you celebrate the Mass? Yes. Are you assigned here? No. So, how often? Kuya, can you start the taxi na, Kuya? Ako'y nagmamadali na po, umandar na tayo. And then, finally, nung kami umandar na, he asked me, Father, bakit kaya nagpapabless ng sasakyan? Sabi ko, Kuya, hindi naman yung sasakyan actually, the owner, the driver, the passengers, kayo ang binibless, hindi lang yung sasakyan. Ah, alam mo, Father, itong taxi ko, hindi pa nga ito nabibless eh. Sa isip-isip ko, ito naman, hindi pa ako dineretso. Gusto lang yata magpabless ng taxi niya. So sabi ko, ah, talaga ba? And then I called my staff. I said, Kuya, you wait for me sa gate and then bring a holy water. And then, nung dumating na kami sa in front of my church, I told the driver, Kuya, ipark mo muna sa gilid. Ibibless natin yung taxi mo. Ah, talaga, Father? Tuwang-tuwa siya. Naku, thank you, Father. Sa so, sobrang tuwa niya, habang nagbibless, binibidyo lang niya ako. No? So, hindi siya nag-join ng blessing. Panay ang video lang niya. Sa so, sobrang tuwa niya. And then, after the blessing, sabi ko, Ay, Kuya, by the way, ito nga pala yung bayad ko sa taxi. Kinuha naman niya. At umalis na siya. You know, as we continue this celebration, after the Mass, you do not know what the Word of God can do for you. Perhaps the Word of God today can change your heart, can change your mind. And the Word of God can finally fulfill the longings of your heart. Trust, believe, and prepare for what the Word of God can do for you. Amen.